This is Digital Anarchist. Hello, this is Chris Riley in the media booth of DevOps.com and DigitalAnarchist.com. We are at ChefConf 2019, and I'm joined by Kevin at Zirconis. Tell me a little bit about your company and your role. Sure. Uh, I'm the head of product at Zirconis. So Zirconis is a time series data company. Okay. So we have uh, IronDB, which is our time series data store. And then we have Circonus, which is a monitoring platform that's built on top of that data Got it. store. And how long have you guys been around? Uh, about nine years. Okay. So nine years in tech terms, you guys are dinosaurs. Uh, <laughs> a little around, bit, but... You've been around for a while, <laughs> um, which I think is interesting because you've seen the evolution of VMs, right? Kind of the server hugger, set it and forget it, yep. to now automation. We talk about all this to the future, which is, you know, even beyond automation, where it seems like devices are so commoditized and pretty much like candy, you can spin them up and on demand. Has that created any sort of challenges? Well, it, it has. So the scale of the problem has really become obvious to everybody in the monitoring space. So you have these vendors out there that are basically producing 10, 20, 30 million devices per year, and they're putting those in the hands of consumers. But they're interested in what the end user experience for those consumers ends up being. So they want to be monitoring these devices, which have low processing power, low bandwidth, um, poor battery capacity. And we're trying to figure out how exactly to go about monitoring uh, within environments that have those challenges. Yeah. So and I think you're specifically talking about IoT, right? Which I, I never saw is like an orchestration problem, but it, it is. It is. <laughs> Yeah, so on our side, we've basically been working on a histogram technology, which uh, had its patent approved last week. Nice. And the uh, histogram technology that we have basically allows people to do pre-aggregation of metrics on these sort of commodity IoT devices. And then the next time that these devices sync up, whether it's by Bluetooth or some sort of hardware connection, we basically can pull the metrics off and then ship them up to Circonus, where we basically can allow the consumer to do predictive analytics or alerting or any sort of reporting that they need to do. Yeah. So have during this evolution of infrastructure, have you seen like the the metrics change, the KPIs change, or is it kind of remain consistent? Um, the cadence at which people want to look at the data has really changed. Resolution. So, yeah, resolution. So back in the day, it was sort of up down and people would look at yeah. every 10 minutes or every five minutes if you were really aggressive. And recently, we've seen a lot of folks start going down uh, to 60 seconds, 30 seconds. I think uh, Prometheus actually looks at it every 60 seconds by default. Um, for Circonus, we actually try to look every second. We, we encourage our customers to basically look as frequently as possible at the data. All of the gems are really when you're collecting all of that data and you have the granularity of the stored data through which to derive insight. Yeah. Okay. And so resolution has gotten tighter. Have you also seen the nature of the data or how the data has been used change? Because you said back in the day, it's up or down. Yeah. Yeah. So before it was really operations teams that were looking at this data and they were sort of worried about what was right in front of them, which was more or less is my service running and why am I being woken up at two o'clock? So that's one of the problems that the original monitoring uh, tools tried to solve. Since then, it's actually a shift towards the business side. So lots of data science and uh, people inside of the C-suite are now interested in what sort of uh, efficiencies can we derive from this data moving forward? Uh, most notably, this is on the user experience for physical devices. Mm. So there's not a lot of existing products that are in the market right now that really allow you to pull all the data off of these physical devices and then make broad assumptions or conclusions about what people are doing with the devices, how they're using them, and whether they're even doing what you thought they were doing in the first place. Yeah. So one of the things I saw in the early days of like monitoring and logging and log analysis and so forth was kind of a too much data. <laughs> and analysis paralysis. Like, do you think organizations have gotten more mature about that or? Well, part of the problem was before is that there wasn't a really good way for you to organize the data. So the metrics 2.0 standard went a long way in helping deal with that. So metric names before used to sort of be these hierarchical, almost like graphite type names okay. where they would be dot delimited and they would sort of be a tree structure through which you would navigate down and discover those particular metrics. The metrics 2.0 standard sort of brought metadata into the game 
So everything is labeled. So there's these tags and then there's values for those tags and it allows you to sort of query the data and discover those metrics a lot more easily. Interesting. So where prior you would kind of have to already know in advance and now you can you can kind of intuit what you need. Well, it, you, you had to move in this direction as a monitoring vendor. So uh, all of the containerized environments that are out there where people are spinning up and tearing down these containers nonstop kind of led us in this direction towards Metrics 2.0. Interesting. Metrics these services, that, that in some cases, we have customers that are tearing down containers on a one minute basis. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Well, you know, what are you most looking forward to or better question? We just talked about the 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 history of, you know, more devices, more things, more things to monitor, more complexities around monitor. What do you see is coming as a future challenge? Or uh, I mean, exactly what you're saying, scale challenge moving forward. So right now we're talking about, you know, consumer devices in the market, 10, 20 million of them. And then each one of those devices having 50, 100, 200 metrics that people want to pull off of there. Wow, that and, many. and I'm betting it's going to be an order of a magnitude larger problem by next year. Wow. Well, it's a fun challenge to face as a product guy, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is why we're here. <laughs> well, Kevin, thanks for joining me today. And, uh, you know, I look forward to seeing what you guys do and to come. Oh, thanks for having me.